friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about TikTok and how to get videos to go viral we're going to talk about the five things that I found and that I've been looking for that I've been seeing that cause videos to be more viewed to get more views to get and get to the point of vi virality <laughs> we're going to talk about getting viral on TikTok and why is it important to get viral on TikTok right on TikTok it's all about the video views it's all about the engagement it's all about people seeing your video so that you get more followers you get more likes so you get more engagement that's all that's what it's all about we're going to talk about how that works a little bit and the top five tips on how to go viral on TikTok but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you're starting to use TikTok and you're wondering how are people getting these 10,000 views in a month and getting a million followers and how did they get there how does that happen how does it work first of all let's talk about TikTok a little bit how the platform works and let's just get into that in just a sec let me just share my screen here so you know as you can see I don't these are older videos right so I went through my timeline I scrolled down and as you can see I'm I don't get I didn't get a lot of views on this but look at this one 2600 over you know in that time frame I was getting uh, uh 30 20 85 100 but this one got 2600 views it's not like millions but and I'm I was just starting out and I'm still new to TikTok but I've learned a lot about viral virality and how that works and what makes a video go viral or not on TikTok you're going to hear lots of different opinions uh I I'm, I can't say I'm an expert on TikTok but I've worked with influencers I've been following lots of people I've actually worked and created a course with an influencer that got 1.7 million followers so she was uh, looking for somebody to work with and I was creating a course and so we worked together to create a course so I learned a lot from her and what she's done and how her actually I should have probably went into there let me just see if I can't uh, how can I uh got let's open this in a new tab here and then I'm just going to search I didn't want to lose my page so let me just uh I don't anyways I'm using the the phone right for for um I guess maybe under discover is it I I haven't used the computer to search for an account on TikTok I don't know if there's a way to search for an account I don't think so there's not can you you can't search for anything so anyways I know what it is it's um it's a world of glass so this is Mayan Gordon she worked with me she's got oh now two million followers she used when I when I worked with her she had a 1.7 million followers now she's got two million as you can see her videos are all in the 10 16 20k 27k 52k views right 12k views 40k views she's getting a lot of views 32k um you know she's getting a lot of views so she certainly understands how to get things to go viral on TikTok so we're going to talk about the five ways to get your TikTok to go viral so let's just get right into it okay well actually you know what before we get into it let me just cover a little bit of how the algorithm works at least my perception of how it works and how I've seen what I've seen so when you post something on TikTok your video is shown in the for you page a little bit based on your hashtags based on your accounts past activity based on your accounts past hashtags so that goes to a certain set of the audience and then there's another set that goes in the following that shows up in the following um in people's and the way it works is that the if in and there's different tiers I mean I don't know if this is true or not but I've seen trainings explaining how the there's four different tiers in in the whole thing where there's one tier where it's automated it goes and sends it off to these people and depending on how many reactions you get how many likes you get how many people view it then it'll it'll put it in the next bucket based on that right in the next bucket and it'll show to more people if it got the right kind of engagement and views in the first bucket right then goes to the next the next there's like I said there's four buckets one of them is apparently or at least the last two they've been saying is is autumn is not is manual in other words somebody actually manually reviews them before it goes to the bucket number three and four so I don't know how that how true that is or not but it just but that's 
that's the idea is the idea is you got to create something that people will will see and engage with what the, what makes people see and engage your video so that you get pushed to the next bucket right um if I look at my videos uh, like I said this one here is 20 2600 views compared to this it's 20 is it that's 20 to 200 that's a hundred times more views than my typical videos in those times or maybe you know 50, 50 to 100 times um re I haven't really been trying to do viral videos recently I've just kind of been because TikTok is not my primary platform right but the thing is that it's it, I've been doing a couple of different things but one of the things is these different things uh these different tips that cause virality we're going to cover right now okay so that's enough uh back talk so the five tips the five things to give you viral content or create viral content are this number one or number one or the fifth the top the fifth in the top five is you know sexiness you know being being uh looking good you know having having a sexy body like these girls right lots of girls have have this obviously um and you know like somebody like this who's got 173,000 followers uh definitely look she's got 73k on this she'll, she'll have 2.7 million on this there's that's a different thing this one here is about that I actually looked at that this one here is about her um that's a story when she was 15 and her and her dad and all that it's a really nice story and that's why she got so many views because there's a lot of emotions in that story people are like okay what is this and now we'll talk about that but like I said you know sexiness and the thing is about looking good having a having an, a, a great body having a great outfit looking good being you know attractive that's definitely a good thing but it's also not everything and the other thing too is you have to realize that these people that have good looks they'll attract a certain kind of a certain kind of um how can I put it uh, audience right the, the audience might not be interested in what they have to sell might not be interested in what they they just looking at the at the you know the the view if you will right so that's one of the things you got to be careful of sexiness even if you uh don't have it or maybe you're taking advantage of putting you know hot chicks in your stuff or whatever that doesn't necessarily mean it's good for your brand or good for your business right so you got to be careful that watch 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 out for that all right so that's number five so number four is adding music so number four is adding music or sounds especially those that TikTok wants you to add so whenever you're creating a video you're going to notice when you choose music you're going to notice some of them have a little icon on it the TikTok uh, icon or the TikTok logo if you will those are the ones that TikTok really wants you to use so if you're going to put um, some background music or something on there you should try to use those ones that'll give you better uh, views better better sharing I guess you could say it that the algorithm is going to share your thing more and also because you know they're 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 getting paid to promote those videos right so, uh, not videos but the the sound right they're getting paid to promote that music or sound that's why that's why they have the little logo so you want to use those if you can most of the time right okay so number three the third way for your videos to go viral on TikTok number three is engagement so causing engagement so how do you cause engagement right engagement is you know people liking your video people commenting on your video and sharing your video too so the first way obviously is to ask people right and when you, you're posting something you say hey would you mind sharing this or or asking them a question to answer that they'll have to put a comment in or asking them to like your video I mean you can do that that can be sometimes cheesy but if you can make the video so that it's kind of automatic they're going to want to comment because it's it's a content that they can relate to or a content that they feel they they they're they they need to answer definitely do that but engagement number three the third the third way to the well tip number three the top three of the top five is definitely one of the ways that you want to do uh that you want to keep thinking about all the time you really always want to think about how do you get engagement on your videos because engagement getting people to share your video getting people to comment on your videos those are top those are really important to the algorithm if you can't get people to engage on your videos which by the way I have a lot of trouble with 
and it's not easy I'm not saying it's easy it but if you can you'll get definitely more people commenting uh more you're, you'll get the the uh, how should I say the the algorithm sharing your stuff more right if we look at somebody like Grant Cardone where he posts something about he posts mostly about making money about you know Grant Cardone is a billionaire he posts on here and it's kind of interesting he's got 19,000 followers right and as you can see he's got a lot he doesn't have like he doesn't have as many views as you'd expect for this many followers right so I'm not really sure what that means but you can see some of the videos uh, this one has 11k this one does 189k I don't know if some of these that have so many is because there's promotion I I don't really know there's there is that part of things but if you look at somebody like Jeff Corey so this this guy here he's got uh, almost 100k followers right and he's all about TikTok growth of uh, social media strategies that kind of stuff and he does lots of little trainings little tips and things like that uh, on TikTok on other platforms too and but if you look through this right you can see that he's got you know 6k 1k 8k 5k 8k and this one here has got 12k views compared to the other ones 20k views here right and you're like okay why is that why does that have that many views right so it's about engagement this guy this this video here and and, and another thing but in this video here he tells people I don't know what I'm gonna do if I hear another if I hear about another you know if you're doing all this crazy stuff the stuff you're not supposed to do and at the end he says it's I'm gonna help them I'm gonna make them feel like they're not idiots I'm gonna make them you know uh, explain to them why things are you know he's he's but the thing is that and this is causing engagement automatically people are automatically going to engage because they're going to th think oh you're so nice thank you so much and so that's an example of how do you create engagement is having a content having a post having a video that kind of forces people to feel they have to say something right so that's that's number three so number two number two that of the top five is make your video shorter now I'm not saying you should do just do short videos because you know lots of times a short video won't do justice to what you're trying <laughs> to accomplish right but I mean if you look at uh, uh lots of these videos here they get lots of views like this one here is a video of her showing off her body showing that she's not perfect but it's perfectly normal and it's a short video it's just a few seconds right and that <coughs> and that in that causes you to view it same thing with my video <coughs> the video I have here of this this is just a nine second video and it's like causing it's short I don't have much engagement as you I don't have any engagement really but I did get 2,000 views on it just because it's short it's a nine second I think it is uh and that's one of the ways to cause more because you're getting more views people especially in this video it's kind of a loop video so if you if you watch it you're like okay what's going to happen he's got the fork there I might I want to see him poke that thing I want to see it you know <laughs> go or whatever you think is going to happen but the thing is that the video just just doesn't go anywhere so you keep watching it keep watching it keep watching it until you realize it's a loop and then you get out of there but you've done you've had like you know maybe five six views before you realize so that's one of the things by making the video short and by not making it end you you can make the video viewed a lot and the number of views will change how much the video is shared by the algorithm right so if it's if it's got lots of views you might get more you you will get more views you will get more engagement uh, not engagement but sharing by the algorithm so that's another way to do that and the final way the top one the top way the number one way the final way to get viral on TikTok is causing curiosity so this is an example this one here is exactly that it's curiosity you're looking at it you're thinking what's he doing what's going to happen you're wanting to keep watching because you don't know what's going to happen the same thing with same thing with uh you know the the ones that are in Grand Cardone the ones that like this video here right instead of buying a Gucci belt or whatever he's got this little video and you're like okay what why okay instead what do I do instead right so you're kind of like okay 
what do I do instead tell me what I need to do instead same thing with uh, these TikTok tips right like if you look at these TikTok tips from um from Sh Sh what's her name Shayla uh I, I don't know I thought there was a name someplace uh Shayla yeah there that's where I saw her name so Shayla she does these TikTok tips and as you can see lots of these videos only have four two two thousand four thousand three thousand this one has eighteen thousand uh where's the one that had a lot I thought it was here yeah 29 20,000 here 30,000 here 21,000 here so here's an example this video here that one there that says five sounds you should be using right that one there has got 21,000 views compared to her regular of you know five maybe five thousand right so it's like five four times more and it's it's a curiosity thing so you're like looking at that okay five sounds you should be using okay what are those five sounds so you want to watch it to find out what those sounds are let's take a look at it right so the five sounds she talks about the five sounds that you should be using in your TikTok to do so look at that so number four original recommended there you go so that's kind of what I was talking about how you have to have add sound right so you want a featured sound that's what I was saying a featured sound so when you go through your app you're going to see there's featured right so definitely you want to that is exactly true you should probably be using featured the next one is new releases that's definitely a good idea because new releases you never know somebody might you might pick something that will go viral because of somebody else's video and then because your sound is the same as their sound yours might be, get picked up and shared as well right and then the same thing uh, then trending of course whatever's trending is always good because that means that there's more and more people starting to use it they, or if they've they've had more people using it in the last say week and of course original and recommended so those are the and when you look at the app those are all there right you've got the trending you've got the featured you got the the new the new content and then original I'm not really sure where you would find original but I guess oh I guess it's it's somebody else's sound like for example if I go to I did one with um I did one with uh where is it right here actually it's up here someplace uh, as you can see I wasn't getting a lot of views here but this one here look 874 compared to these 26 and 100 views this one here was an original sound from uh I'm Kevin Hart right it was a sound from him where he was saying I'm this is TikTok hey I'm on TikTok this is cool so I was actually lip syncing to that but I was using somebody else's sound and when we look at this sound right when we go to it we can actually see all the people who use that there's 23,000 people that used his sound to do a video because it's a fun sound to use <laughs> this is his original right he's like I'm on TikTok hey oh yeah I'm on TikTok anyways that's <clears throat> the thing right so that's that's the original sound so that's the curiosity what curiosity kill the cat right I mean you you're looking through maybe you obviously when you go to somebody's uh, page like this like me you're you might be looking at this thinking oh what is this or why has he got this mustache you might watch it for that but that really isn't that really isn't about the algorithm right the algorithm is not is, is doesn't people don't go to your profile at least not very often right I mean I'm doing that right now because I'm actually looking at some of these uh, people's profiles right I'm looking through <coughs> uh you know uh, uh what's what's her name it's um Peterson uh, Rachel yeah so Rachel Peterson she's a SCO of a she's a social media manager she's got two, two almost 300,000 followers now uh and she posts really good content it's always very interesting uh but there's a lot of, she uses these five things herself I mean she's attractive but that's not the that's not the main thing it's really about engagement making shorter videos uh, causing curiosity whenever you look at these things right it's like how did TikTok pay me six million pay me for a six million viewed video wow I would like to find out about that so I'm going to click on it to see right how much to create TikTok creators work so that's a curiosity thing it's like okay how what does that mean why why you know and then of course she talks about that in here she doesn't really tell you uh, but then you have to go and maybe go to her face uh, her YouTube video or something because she has a YouTube channel too but that's the thing you cause people to engage and asking <laughs> <coughs> six million views right so I mean that's the thing so you gotta have 
if you want viral videos on TikTok, you got to do these things and and the, the other thing that we talked about too is creating three to ten videos in a day and posting regularly throughout the day not all at one time not just once a day not just once a week it's all about you know TikTok is just like any other social media platform they want they want people to create content if you create content they're going to share it if you don't create content it's less likely to be shared so you got to be consistently creating content right so I'm not the best necessarily but I certainly do create content more or less regularly uh and you know when you look at uh anybody's anybody's uh, videos right you look at anybody's account if I look at uh like I said Grant Cardone for example right he's a millionaire he makes he makes and he's doing these videos he's not getting a lot I mean he's getting consistently over the 2000 right but he's still not getting like the millions or the hundreds of thousands of views you'd expect but that's because on TikTok the biggest uh consumer if you will is like I said sexiness right but the thing about that is that you don't necessarily get the content I mean I could create video I could copy videos with hot chicks in it and post them and I could do that and I would get more views for sure and I would probably grow my audience as well I'd probably grow a, maybe a percentage of them that would be my actual audience versus just people that want to see you know hot chicks but the thing is that what would be the benefit of doing that it's more work it seems like that's not really me lots of people and that's the thing you got to be careful because I you know I, I I see that on other platforms if you build your audience with the wrong content if you if you build your audience with content a but you're really about content b because you're using content a to grow faster and you're really about content b then what happens is that you'll have a whole lot of dispropor disproportionate people in this content a area <clears throat> that aren't really interested that aren't really they're not really interested in content b they really just want content a and then when you stop creating your content a they're going to start saying they don't want to see your stuff they're going to black mark you by saying this is spam or they're going to say because they don't they don't want to see content b they're not interested in content b which is your real content right your real thing and you're going to have way too many people putting negativity on your account which will cause you know account cancellation or or, or you know not able to do certain things or you you get you're shut down that kind of stuff so you got to really be careful to do that you got to make sure that whatever you're creating is what is your real content that's really important you might not grow as fast like me I'm not growing that fast on TikTok but it's still I'm still over 800 view and 800 followers not 830 or something and you know that's the thing so if I if I I mean I got 823 followers now right so it's it's not a million followers but it's still you know better than it was if I just started today I'd only have one follower or none really right zero <laughs> you start with zero right but that's the thing so if you want to get viral you got to be doing this you gotta you, you can use sexiness and when I say sexiness I don't necessarily just mean hot chicks I mean you know the content has to be attractive interesting it has to be something that people are are, are going to react to or are going to think oh this is cool I like this right that can be that then adding sound and a music that is recommended or is 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 uh, featured um and then c doing th something that causes engagement people that comment people that like people to share making your video short is better don't make them all short because depending on your content obviously you might have a uh, need to have longer ones and then the top one way to build viral is curiosity causing curiosity in your content making people wonder what's coming next making people want to watch the whole thing to see what the what what is what they're going to see right making them wonder all right hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions comment anything let me know I'd love to help you with anything on TikTok or other social media platforms go ahead and reach out to me my blog and uh, you can contact me on any of the platforms and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning some of your need to hear this
this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.